Fujimi makes a couple of different versions of this kit. I know one that was black on the box art and drifting sideways, which is kind of weird for a front wheel drive car. And then there is this one as well. I pretty much think the only difference between those kits in this case is the sunroof and maybe a couple of body parts and mainly the wheels as well. I kind of like the look of the sunroof version so I decided to pick that one. So let's go to the box quickly and then into a bit more detail. So when going through the kit and also the instructions, you notice that it's not really that difficult of a kit. It doesn't really have a lot of parts. So it is fun to do a quick little build on this and maybe even add some details here and there or simply just modify it and have a good looking display piece. So the first screw is for the clear parts and I quickly noticed that there is something wrong right about here. So it looks like mine will have one or two open windows on each door, as that is pretty much unusable. The rest of the clear part does look really nice, has some of these heating lines in there, and also a bit of a hazing, which is kind of hard to see, where you need to mask it off and paint the black lines. It also has the sunroof, which is a clear piece, some of the material behind it so you can open and close it, and of course also some of the taillight pieces and the headlights as well. It does have a bit of flashing around here. No really big worries there, just a little cleanup and that is all taken care of. So the kit isn't really detailed as you can see on the interior. There is pretty much no door panel whatsoever. It does have a little pocket for your hand, but that's pretty much it. It does have some weirdly molded in seat belts, which I might need to remove or just place some belt material over it. And there is also no rear bench seat or at least the top half at all. It does have some details here, but overall it's not too detailed. The side mirrors are also molded separately. The seats do have a lot more detail, a couple of sink marks as well. Not really to worry, but not really that great either. I might think I'd change those to some bucket seats, but I'm not really sure yet. The disc brakes have some really weird grooves in them. I don't really like the look of that, so I will probably be changing that as well. It has a simple exhaust and also just a piece for the engine to show through the chassis. It is pretty detailed and with a bit of paint it can look pretty convincing, but there's not too much there. So as you'd come to expect when looking at the main interior pieces, the chassis is nothing really to be desired either. Not really any detail here, just a couple of lines and some structural pieces. However, the exhaust will be put on top and there are some pieces for the tank and also the engine that I showed earlier and that will show later on. So those couple really big holes in the chassis are supposed to be filled with this piece. It has a tank and some more of those chassis pieces. Some of the other pieces as well. Nothing really major, but really easy to build a kit. And with a bit of time and attention, it can look okay, but don't really expect a lot out of it. But the good thing is they do have a left and right hand drive version for the dashboard, which is nicely detailed. All the buttons on the stereo are there, the fans look really nice, and the general detail is really good and a lot better than the rest of the interior. It also comes with a nice optional spoiler for on the rear. So even though the chassis and interior are not really detailed, the body on the other side really is detailed. It has a lot of molded in details. All the bumpers are molded onto the body, which makes it a lot easier for painting. However, you do need to remove a couple of mold lines, which are really thick and also have some flashing, but that on the other case makes them really easy to spot and show where they are. The panel lines themselves are already nice and deep, so a little scribing makes them pronounce a bit better and a lot easier to see after you've painted it. The sunroof is also molded out and in a separate piece as you could see earlier. 
and also a nice detail all around. Again, some nice mold lines and panel lines here and on the hood as well. To my eyes, the shape looks really nice and accurate to the car itself, so it should build out to a cool replica of the car. During the quick look through the box, you could have seen that this kit comes with two sets of wheels, one with the stock wheels, which I will not be using, and one with some aftermarket wheels, which actually kind of look nice, but I won't be using either. You will see in the build itself which ones I will be using, but for the ones that have been watching my channel and noticed some of the unboxings from the past, you will probably already know which collaboration this build is for. So there is also of course a nice decal sheet. It has a couple of details for the emblems, some for the interior, a lot of CRX logos and even some of the engine and some other ones for some aftermarket parts. I won't be, be using most of these, just a couple for the logos and the interior of course, as I want to keep it looking really clean, but just a bit of aftermarket and not really go overboard with all of these logos.